Reading is fun and math is great, but now it's time for Art with Miss Kate. Art with Miss Kate. Buenos dias, artistas. Hello, artists. Today we're going to learn about Martin Luther King Jr. because he had a special day on Monday, but we didn't have school that day. And we don't have school today on Friday, so we're going to learn about him next week. This is a painting I made about Dr. King. And it's got one of his quotes on it. He was a very articulate man, and he has, he has a lot of famous quotes, but I really like this one a lot. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. And then here on the table, I have lots of different artwork about Dr. King. You can approach this lesson any way you want to. You could do collage, watercolor, paint stick. Um, this is a pizza cardboard that I use paint stick on. This is a collage, watercolor and Sharpie. Just important words. And the one down at the right is sales slips, like when you go to a store. I save them and on the back it's white. And so I put words that were important to Dr. King. And I made a collage with those. So the way you decide to approach this is going to be up to you. This book is called Martin's Big Words, and it won an award called the Caldecott for its artwork. It's really, the artwork is really quite lovely. It is written by Doreen Rappaport and illustrated by Brian Collier. Everywhere in Martin's hometown, he saw signs, white only. His mother said these signs were in all southern cities and towns in the United States. Every time Martin read the words, he felt bad, until he remembered what his mother told him. You are as good as anyone. In church, Martin sang hymns. He read the Bible, he listened to his father preach, and these words made him feel good. When I grow up, I'm going to get big words, too. Martin grew up. He became a minister like his father. And he used the big words he heard as a child from his parents and from the Bible. Everyone can be great. He studied the teachings of Mahatma Gandhi, and he learned how the Indian nation won freedom without ever firing a gun. Martin said love. One other said hate. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. He said together when others said separate. He said peace when others said war. Sooner or later, all the people of the world will have to discover a way to live together. In 1955, on a cold December day in Montgomery, Alabama, Rosa Parks was coming home from work. A white man told her to get up from her seat on the bus so he could sit. She said no, and she was arrested. Montgomery's black citizens learned of her arrest, and it made them angry, and they decided not to ride the buses until they could sit anywhere they wanted. For 381 days, they walked to school and work and church. They walked in rain and cold and in blistering heat. Martin walked with them and talked with them and sang with them and prayed with them until the white city leaders had to agree they could sit anywhere they wanted. When the history books are written, someone will say there lived black people who had the courage to stand up for their rights. In the next 10 years, Black Americans all over the South protested for equal rights. Martin walked with them and talked with them and sang with them and prayed with them. White ministers told them to stop. Mayors and governors and police chiefs and judges ordered them to stop, but they kept on marching. Wait! For years I have heard the word wait. We have waited more than 340 years for our rights. They were jailed and beaten and murdered, and they kept on marching. Some black Americans wanted to fight back with their fists. Martin convinced them not to by reminding them of the power of love. 
Love is the key to the problems of the world. Many white Southerners hated and feared Martin's words. A few threatened to kill him and his family. His house was bombed, his brother's house was bombed, but he refused to stop. Remember, if I'm stopped, this movement will not be stopped because God is with this movement. The marches continued. More and more Americans listened to Martin's words. He shared his dreams and he filled them with hope. I have a dream that one day in Alabama, little black boys and black girls would join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. After 10 years of protests, the lawmakers in Washington voted to end segregation. The white only signs in the South came down. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. cared about all Americans. He cared about people all over the world. And people all over the world admired him. In 1964, he won the Nobel Peace Prize, and he won it because he taught others to fight with words, not fists. Martin went wherever people needed help. In April 1968, he went to Memphis, Tennessee. He went to help garbage collectors who were on strike. He walked with them and he talked with them. He sang with them and he prayed with them. On his second day there, he was shot and he died. His big words are still alive for us today. Freedom, peace, together. I have a dream. So you can approach this any way you want. We've already shown you many examples on the table. Here I have some hearts on a piece of brown paper grocery bag. And I am going to color them in with Cray Pop. And then do something with my background. And the thing about Cray Pot is that if you layer it, it looks really cool, almost like a painting. It's one of my favorite art supplies for that reason. And it's awfully fun to work with. The book was illustrated with watercolor and collage, so that's why you see some watercolor example examples on the table and some collage examples on the table. However, when we do art at home, you always get to pick your art supplies because I don't know what you have in your house. And you can also draw in Seesaw using those drawing tools if you want to. So what we're going to do now is a great big pretend. And we're going to pretend I finished my Crepa drawing. And I can't wait to see what kind of art you make. I really miss you. Have a great day.